So mommy's doing okay, but I saw a squirrel has been injured or killed. I don't know from what my wandering Jew is bad, growing up real quick. She seems to be okay. I put some berries out. I noticed something over here. A squirrel has died. I don't know what happened to it. Ants all over it. Look at that. I don't know what happened to it. Not sure what happened to it. I'm not going to get too close. It might have a disease. But it looks like it fell out of the tree. up here somewhere it's possible it might have got struck by lightning because the hands look all burnt unless there's ants all over it so I'm back over by the tree and uh, now she's investigating she's got a walnut in her mouth I gave her some walnuts. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it got struck by lightning or what. From the storm. Uh huh. Don't look like he got hit by no lightning though. He's been burned up. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I'm going to get it up in a little bit. Okay, so this is where I marked his grave. I dug about a foot down and put him in a Ziploc bag, put a date on it, and buried him so that the other animals can't come in contact with it. And, um... You know, it, it seemed better to do that than to just chunk it in the trash. I didn't want to do that. So, um, so if you do this, you know, make sure you wear a mask, you know, PPE. Um, make sure you get, um, use gloves and, uh, try not to touch it with your utensils if, if possible. You know, I picked it up by the tail and, and just put it in the bag, put a date on it. And I buried him. So he's going to be buried in there. Uh, it's probably going to decompose in the bag. But um, it's zipped up. So. And um, not sure what killed him, but he was full of ants. He was full of ants. The ants was crawling all over him. Uh, which is kind of odd, you know. But, um, I didn't, and then there was a few flies around, but I didn't see any worms. So, he, it was, it's a fresh kill. It, it can't be no more than maybe 24 hours. I just noticed it today when I was, uh, leaving the house. But, that's his little grave. It's right here. That's his little grave, and it had some little, um, I put a little stick there, and, um, some rocks around it, some pretty rocks that I found. One is just some chunked up concrete, looks like, and, um, a little crystal, and, um, there was, a, um, an old, um, 
Italian parsley marker that was out here. I'm not sure if it blew out of my garden, but um, I just stuck that there. Um, that's where his head is. So, shalom, shalom, little one. Be blessed in the name of Echo Kadoshe, who govern over the wild animals and the urban animals and the wildlife. Be blessed. You know, animals do have souls too, you know. So, that's why I put him at. And his little friends can scurry around here and get the feeling of his little essence. Anyway, got a lot of pretty rocks out here. I just love these rocks. The person who previously lived here had really, did a really nice job with this yard. And they had bricks and everything around. They had a little flower bed and they planted these roses. And you know, so I didn't plant any of this. It was here when I got here. But that, the person who previously lived here, they moved a long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah. And all of the trees that they cut down on the property, they're being replaced by new trees. So we got new trees on the property. And I'll add that to this video at the end of this video. Anyway, shalom, shalom. All praises to our creator. Shalom, shalom. I don't know what this is, but it was flying around. And I knocked it off me. And it fell in the amp pile. And like now it's just sitting there. It's not doing anything. I think it's some kind of a moth. I don't know what it is. I was looking at the tree right here. The new tree that they planted that replaced the old tree. So this is the new baby tree right there. For every tree they cut down, they have to put a new one. 